true faith is to treat others as you would like to be treated. Thinking of the well-being of others uh, and, and tying it to, into fundamentally into your own well-being. The most fundamental thing about human rights is let's not forget that uh, uh, quite early on in Islamic theology and Islamic jurisprudence, um, Muslims found it unavoidable to speak of two categories, the rights of God and the rights of people, Huq al-Ibad and Huq Allah. If one wants to truly uh, uh, resist oppression and and resist hegemonic domination and um, search for justice and a paradigm of rights and um, uh, equality among uh, human beings and so on and so forth uh, uh, it, that is constantly shifting with developments in human epistemology and human understanding. So what could have counted as justice and resistance to oppression uh, in the 16th century could be at completely shifts in, in every sense of the word, uh, two centuries later or three centuries later. In other words, it, it, Sharia itself requires the, the objectives, uh, the moral core values, uh, be, be consistently approached and consistently achieved through uh, an ingenuity of means and a, 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 an active search for um, an non-dogmatic application of uh, traditional means or traditional mechanisms. So, for instance, uh, you know, I, I often think that the arguments about traditional rules uh, regarding sh shura or not uh, are uh, mis um, 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 misguided. What's important is the conception of shura and the maximization of a consultative society, a society in which Within a family, uh, the dynamic is not one of patriarchy and power, uh, but one in which there is, there is uh, a, a, a building of consultation and consensus. Within society, uh, there is not the logic of domination and control, but again, the search for mechanisms of human intercourse, social intercourse, and uh, building of consultation and consensus and even at the world at the level of the the the, the universe of humanity at large that a world that is not dominated by a paradigm of hegemony and control of the few over the rest but again the concept of shura of a consultative world world and um world dynamics and a, 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 a the building of consensus and uh, this, uh, of course, uh, then puts human rights at the very core of what it is to be a, um, a proponent of Sharia in the contemporary age. Any time that human beings are able to achieve um, uh, the the liberation of human beings from Abudiyya, the liberation of human beings from enslavement to uh, other human beings or enslavement to uh, dogma or uh, slavish following of uh, um, a, 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 a suffocating tradition, um, inherited tradition and so on, they are in fact achieving Sharia. This brings me then to uh, one of the Human rights uh, as a basic idea, as a, 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 a um, the philosophical foundations of the idea, which, whether it's centered on the promotion of human dignity or it's centered on the um, uh, 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 protection and promotion of human liberty or uh, some variation thereof, um, 
uh, centered on the idea um, uh, of promotion and uh, of protection and promotion of human rationality. Uh, and whatever the the philosophical justification, uh, human rights puts the human being at the center and at the core, uh, and it, it, that's exactly what uh, sh uh, Sharia is and uh, is supposed to be about.